Hello everyone, this is Jose from Acropias.io and in this video we're going to learn about pagination. So what is pagination? Pagination is a very important pattern in APIs. It is what allows us to slice a collection of items into smaller chunks. This has a number of benefits. It allows the users of our API to consume this collection of items in a convenient way by ensuring they only have to process a small uh, set of items um, at a time, but it also has benefits for the server, for the API itself. Imagine if we have a large collection of items in our database and we were to return that collection in one go to many users at the same time, that would put a lot of pressure on our database and the API server as well. So it has advantages to safeguard the performance and the health of our API servers. We typically want to include pagination in what we call collection endpoints. So in APIs, we distinguish between collection and singleton endpoints. Collection endpoints represent a collection of items. So imagine, for example, we have a product um, endpoint in an API, uh, a product, product URL path that represents the collection of products. And then if we want to look at a specific product, we would have a different URL path, which is product plus the ID. And so when we are returning the collection of items to the user, it is very important to have pagination in place for the benefit of the user and our server as well. There are different ways to implement pagination patterns. And I recommend you to check out this website over here, which describes some of the main patterns of API pagination. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to implement explicit pagination. So this is the ability of a user to tell us which page they want to look at, how many items per page they want to see, and also they will be able to specify the sorting order of those items. And in other patterns also, you may want to specify what is the filters they want to apply. Now the tutorial is going to be an extract of my course Build APIs with Python Fast API Edition, which explains everything you need to know to build powerful and robust APIs using Fast API. To give you a little bit of context about the implementation, what we're going to do is we're going to implement pagination for an endpoint that allows us to list skills from an API. It is a job portal API that allows us to create job listings to get the details of those jobs and to apply for the jobs. And as part of this, we have an endpoint that allows us to retrieve the list of skills that are available on the platform to create those job listings. And so, what we're going to implement looks like this. We're going to begin with an empty function that doesn't have anything in it. It only has the parameters of pagination, which are declared here using an annotation. So an annotation in Fast API is something that allows us to specify a dependency. In this case, a dependency that represents the pagination parameters. And what it allows us to do is to specify that this dependency returns a pagination object. So the pagination object looks like this. It is a pydantic model that contains three properties, per page, page, and order. And those are the parameters that we're going to use to do pagination in that endpoint. And order, by the way, is, a, uh, is a, an enumeration whose values are available here. Now, the dependency itself is this function, which basically is declaring the three parameters as part of the API of that URL path. and uh, they specify the minimum values of, um, allowed for those parameters, the maximum value, whether they are required or not, and the default values as well. And so what we do here is we capture those parameters. Pydantic takes care of validating their values to ensure they are correct. Then we return this object, and that object becomes available here in the form of this parameter pagination. And then we can access those values as an instance of this object. So that's what we're going to do. That's the plan for this video. You're going to get a complete recipe of how to handle pagination in your own APIs, how to handle the limits, the offsets, the sort by um, directives of the query, how to obtain the count of items in the table, and how to calculate the number of pages. And this is pretty much all you need to implement pagination in production APIs. So hopefully you will find this useful. The same pattern can be applied in any other API framework, including Flask and Django. And I'll show you very soon in a few weeks how to do this with Flask as well. So here's the video. I hope you like it and you find it useful. And if you do, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, here we go. So we are going to start with list of skills, which is uh, one of the simplest endpoints we have in terms of 
database transaction and it's gonna help us also show how we handle these uh, parameters from the URL and how we pass them to the SQL queries. So the first thing we have to do, like always, we open a new session with SQL Alchemy. So we say with session maker as session. And the first thing we're going to do is to prepare the statement. So we say query equals, we're going to use multi-line here. So we say select, we're going to select from the skill model. We need to import all of these things. Also the select a statement from SQL Alchemy. And then we need to think about the type of query that we are going to do. So pagination here contains um, parameters to help us paginate the output of our query. It contains the parameters page, per page, and order. So by playing with these parameters, the user can select how many items they want to get in a single view, which view or page they want to see, and in which order they want to sort out the items in the pages. What we need to do in this query is we need to uh, tell the database that we want to get a specific subset of the rows and in SQL there are two parameters that help us with that. The first of them is limit which uh, tells the database how many rows we want to grab and offset which tells the database in which position we want to start counting the, counting the rows. So if the user is requesting page number one with 10 items per page, the limit will be 10 because that's the number of items we want to get and the offset will be zero because offset starts at index zero. So to get the first item, we go to index number zero. And the final parameter we have to use in the query is order by. We're going to order skills by name, and then we have to specify whether the order is ascending or descending. And that is gonna be given by the pagination parameters. So let us first set the limit of the query, which we set with the limit method in SQL Alchemy, and that is going to be pagination per page. So per page tells us how many items to get in a single query, and that's the parameter we pass to limit. Second is the offset, where we start counting the rows. And that is going to be calculated depending on the values of the parameters. So because the value starts at zero, we're gonna say pagination page minus one. If pagination page equals one. So if we are requesting the first page, we go to the item number zero, which is where we have to start to count the rows. And then else, we have to calculate the position of the offset based on the number of items and pages that the user is requesting. So if, if the user is requesting page number two and we have 10 items per page, we want to start counting from position 10 because the index is zero based. So the first row is, uh, is index zero, second row is index two. Then to start counting elements from 11 to 19, in the case of 10 items per page, then we are looking at index number 10. So to calculate this, we're going to say pagination page minus one multiplied by pagination per page. So if we did pagination page multiplied by number of items per page, that will take us to the last item of the query we want to make. So to go to the beginning, we subtract the page minus one and that takes us to the first item we want to query. So that is for the selection of the rows. And the final thing we need to do here is to order. We're going to figure out or determine whether order is ascending or descending in this line. We're going to say order is descending if pagination order is sort in an descending else is ascending and ascending and descending are functions from SQL Alchemy so we input them and here we say order by order which is the uh, the result of this calculation here so descending or ascending and Within this function, we pass the parameter we are sorting by, which in this case is going to be skill name. So that's our query statement. And then to run the query, we're going to say skills is session scholars query. That runs the query. And the second thing we have to um, obtain here is the number of items in the, uh, in the table. So if we look at the list, list skills model, we have pages and skills. So 
to calculate the number of pages, we're going to count the number of items in the table and we're going to divide that between the number of items per page and we're going to round it up. So if we have, for example, only three items in the table and the user is requesting 10 items per page, then instead of being zero, we, are, we want to have one page in the output. So we say count, we already saw how to do this query. So we say session execute and then we say select function count we need to import the function here and then we say select from select skill and we're going to say id to focus only on one column we qualify this as a subquery and here we say scholar one and that gives us the value of the count so we already checked the output or the shape of the model of this um, response. So what we need to do is return exactly the data with that shape. So we say pages is, we're going to use the sale function from the math module to round up to the next um, integer. And we're going to say count divided by pagination per page. And then skills is going to be a list. And if we look at the shape of the payload, this takes us to the skill model here. It has ID and name. So instead of returning the pedantic model or the SQL Alchemy model and calling a dictionary method, we want to have explicit mapping between the database model and the response model so that we know what we are mapping one to one. So here we say ID equals skill ID and name is skill name for skill in skills. So that's exactly what we want to do here. And that's how we handle these parameters from the query and pass them to the SQL statement in the body of the function. All right, so that's how you implement pagination using Fast API and SQL Alchemy. I hope you found the video useful. Um, if you're interested in more topics related to this, or if you're interested in different kinds of topics, please leave your suggestions in the comments to this video. If you're interested in learning to build production grade APIs with Python using the Fast API framework, make sure you check out the Build APIs with Python Fast API Edition course that is available on the website over here. And feel free to use this coupon to obtain a 30% discount from the course. I hope you found this useful and see you next time.